marry her or end the affair. Queen's aide gave Prince Charles ultimatum over Camilla. Prince Charles was told to marry Camilla or end their relationship forever by the Queen's most senior aide, according to a new royal biography. The affair was common knowledge but the Queen was desperate to get adultery off the front pages so brought in Sir Michael Peet who, as keeper of the privy purse had revolutionized the royal finances, to sort it out. The Duchess, The Untold Story, by Penny Junner, claims Sir Michael was given a clear agenda by Buckingham Palace, to persuade Charles to sever his relationship with Camilla because it had become a constant source of negative publicity for the royal family. Camilla was still an unpopular and divisive figure. She had been the prince's mistress, he had admitted having an adulterous affair with her and now she was sharing his bed, his house, and his life. But she was not his wife. This was an awkward situation as Charles will one day be defender of the faith and head of the Church of England. Camilla had to go. But when it became clear the prince would never give up Camilla there was a rapid change of tack and suddenly Sir Michael became the strongest advocate for their marriage. Ms. Junner writes, there were obstacles to overcome first. It needed not just the Queen's permission but the agreement of the state, the church, and the great British public. And, in his usual way, the Prince of Wales was dithering. He really is the most curious character. On the one hand he had stood his ground against his parents, the media, and the voice of the nation in making Camilla non-negotiable. A man who for decades had dedicated himself to duty, to doing the right thing, suddenly put everything he stood for and had worked for in jeopardy because of Camilla. Pete was having none of that. He went to the prince and told him very clearly that either Mrs. Parker Bowles had to go, or he had to marry her. They could not, under any circumstances, continue as they were. Having been at Buckingham Palace for nearly 15 years, where he had been close to the Queen, Sir Michael Pete was the perfect person to pull all the essential strands together and iron out the complications. He knew Robin Janvrin, who had been promoted to become the Queen's private secretary, and was willing to offer helpful advice to the Queen. He also needed the support of then Prime Minister Tony Blair, who had described Diana as the people's princess after her death. But he also admired the prince and appreciated how important Camilla was to Charles. Ms. Junner writes, the final component was Dr. Rowan Williams, Archbishop of Canterbury, who inevitably ruled out a church wedding, because the Anglican Church frowns upon second marriages if a spouse is still living, but sanctioned the solution, a civil ceremony with the church blessing. Charles finally asked Camilla to marry him at Burke Hall, the Queen Mother's house on the Balmoral estate, over New Year. He had spoken to his mother, his sons, and the rest of the family when they were all together at Sandringham for Christmas, which Camilla had spent with her family. News of the engagement leaked out on the morning of February 10, 2005, a day that the couple were due to attend a charity ball at Windsor Castle, and they were married in a civil ceremony at Windsor Guildhall on April 9, 